and welcome back to Cherish Inspire with Kel. This is part two of organising my kitchen. So apologies for that, I could not put the video on last week only because it was my daughter's birthday, the twins had hospital appointments and not only that, it was my niece's party as well. So we were very busy. Well normally when 2023 comes, January, everybody has something new to start with and I actually told myself, I've been doing YouTube now for two years and I thought, oh my God, I haven't done organizing every video has been filmed in january but this is now march you're going to see this one i might put two videos on next week if i can if i get round to it or if not i'll put one on definitely i'm not going to make any promises but there will definitely be one up next week so i am working on it let's get motivated <laughs> taking everything out of the kitchen unit we've got a lot of tubberware here um it's just amazing how much you know when you start clearing out and you see how much stock there is and you're not aware of it until you really give it a good go the second unit is with um, soft drinks alcohol and there's some cereal i believe it's oats lentils etc so it's a quite a bit of a mixed one the idea is to get it all out, get it all checked in date and give the unit a very good clean. This is the only time I think the kitchens get a real good, well the units I should say, get a real good clean as well. But luckily for me that wasn't too bad at all. I actually thought they were going to be really mucky but they weren't so I'm really pleased. But still I'm going to give it a good old clean because this is something I don't do and I'm sure you will agree. It's only when you're having a deep clean. So what I've done is now I've put all the uh, alcohol right at the back of this unit because it's not used every weekend. And um, what I've done is I'm using this Lazy Susan. It makes it so nice and easy and accessible for the little ones. Brought it down into the bigger unit because you can get more items on it. So I've put the soft drinks in. Just trying to turn the labels around so it looks nice and it re represents it lovely. The lemonade could go into one bottle, but I'll sort that out later. This space, I've got some uh, oils and other items that are sitting out of the kitchen unit. So what I'm gonna do is put some items in this area and get it organized in some sort of manner. This is Guinness just going right to the back. Again, that won't be used. It'll probably be sitting there for months and months, to be honest with you. And it's great to get um, all this in some sort of order and it also looks nice. But one thing I like about it, when the items are all displayed in some sort of nice unit, um, nice order, sorry, and it looks nice, it displays it quite well. And uh, also, when you are sort of organising your units, it also gets you to put the items in a nice display order i would like to say and it gives you an opportunity to buy some new items and also at this time throw away the old items also
And not only that, at this time, you do get a chance to uh, really have a look at what you've got. Here, I've got some um, prep tubbleware, which I haven't used yet. I haven't got round to it, but those will be coming in use very soon. As I know, soon I'll be very busy again with normal life day to day. So that will be used then. But also, at this time, you can have a look and see. There's a lot of items in there. This is what's really helping me. The Tupperware, and I'm thinking, do I really need all this? At the moment, I'm just going to put it all back into the unit. And then uh, when I've got more time on the hand, I can get rid of some of the old units. I mean, old <laughs> Tupperware. Yes, I know, there's a lot of playing about as well. Now I've put it in like this, but I'm not too convinced I'm really pleased with that. I'm still having a look and thinking. Looks okay, but there's more to come. The lids I've put into this little tub, I think it's easier and I'm okay with it, but I'm not really too pleased with it. It's not what I wanted to do, but anyway, I'm getting it in some sort of order, but I am humming and harming about it. Apologies there, I didn't realise that the unit, I mean, the camera was quite <laughs> slanty, so I didn't realise. But as you can see, I wasn't really convinced with what I've done. I, it, it wasn't making me happy. So this is the second attempt. I'm going to take it all out and rearrange it again. But be truthful with you, I wasn't having a real good day with these two units. Um, you'll see what I mean. I mean, this unit was done afterwards, but somehow I've managed to um, sort of put it edited at first. But um, yes, yeah, so this is me having a second attempt at it. And I'll be honest with you, I wasn't happy again. You'll see me put these units in, uh, these <laughs> containers in now. And when it was sorted like this, for temporary, it was in my eyes because I wasn't happy with it and I did change it for the third time. As you can see here, the Amazon order arrived, which was so pleased, and then I changed it again for the third time. Just by doing these two units, it did take me a lot of time. Let me know in comments below, when you start something, does it take you a long time? Do you hum and harmer about it? Do you change it once, twice or thrice? Let me know in comments, but I'd love to hear from you in that. I'd like to know, how do you work? This was one of my not so well days. Um, I was cold as well. I was wearing a thick jumper, but I wasn't very um, happy with the unit. So there we go. This was late filming in the evening when my Amazon order came and this is what I did. Now that's what I like. I am very happy with that. There's 10 tubs of these cereal ones and they've all got pulses. I have a row at the back of five and five at the front. They've all got all pulses in there, nice and easy. 
um, you can see through them because it's transparent and uh, easy access. There's a little round circle, so uh, you just got to clip it open. I'm very, very pleased with that one. Just one item, one of these tubs has got various mix items, but because I haven't got enough space. And with the bottom unit, that will also do as well. I'm not too fussed about it. It looks okay. I just need to put some of these in jars, which I will do when I get around to it. <laughs> This is another small unit of mine. It's got so many herbs and spices in it. But not only that, as you can see, there's a timer in there. There's probably various items in there that just get dumped in. If you're in a hurry or anybody in the, you know, that's in the kitchen and uh, you just need to put away something, this is the unit that has just got loads of mix bits and bobs in it. So now it gives me a pleasure to get it all out and get it all nicely cleaned and get everything in some sort of organized manner. Next is all cleaning, get it all thoroughly clean because it just gets lucky to get, have a good old clean, a deep clean while you organize everything. Uh, one thing I love about organizing it, it looks great. You know, the opportunity to buy this new Tupperware and any items to make it look you know, nice and smart as well. And it just makes you feel great. Now I've worked from the bottom, I'm going to do the next two uh, units at the top. Let me know also, have you made a start on your kitchen yet? What are you working on? Has this helped? Has it inspired you to get motivated? Because that's what my aim is, is to get you motivated. Also here, these are lovely, lovely little uh, shelves that I have brought. These is all from Amazon, but you can get them elsewhere. If you shop around like B&M, Homebase, other store, bigger stores as well, Asda, Sainsbury's, Morris, Morrison's, Lidl's, Aldi's. You know, there's a vast amount of other stores that you can also try if you wanted to, it doesn't have to be Amazon. It was just convenient for me, and that's what I've used, Amazon. So now I'm gonna fill all these little clear jars, and then um, hopefully I'm leaving it to my daughter to get them all labeled. She did make some, some labels, but I've uh, misplaced them. And then get them all placed, and it looks really, really good once it's all placed in its unit with these little jars. I'm really pleased with this one, but uh, this is my second video that I've worked on. And um, I missed out last week because it was my daughter's birthday and it was running out of time with the twins going to the hospital, etc. Loads going on last week. This is why I wasn't able to upload. But this is the unit, how it's looking with the Tupperware, meal preps, Tupperware, and these clear tubs are at the bottom and uh, they'll, they'll have labels and once their labels are done i will fill them in next week i'll be bringing uh, organization uh, part three and so on i'm hoping i can get it done with part three it might be a longer video but i try to keep it small so i'd like to hear from you in comments as well what have you thought um, did you have any ideas that i could do something better if you've got any suggestions share it in comments below and i'll be grateful to hear from you and um, let me know also what are you working on i'm all for suggestions in comments below yep this is it this is how it looks i'm really pleased with that and i hope you are liking it also as well these will have labels on them and this is the machine that i will be using or my daughter will to get it all labeled also, I'd like to know in comments below, have you made a start in organising any area of your home? Are you taking small steps? What are you starting with? And what is it you've actually started? So let me know in comments. Also in comments below, let me know in what you've seen today. Do you have any suggestions? Do you have any better suggestions than what I've put in? I'd like to hear from you. Working as a team, I motivate myself. And the aim is to motivate you when you're watching this. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye for now.